switch gears to volleyball. Now, this 2019 volleyball season has really surprised me. Typically, we see the usual suspects at the top, like Parkland, Central, Emmaus. That has all changed this year. It's anybody's season at that point, and that was further proved last night when undefeated Liberty got a bit of a wake-up call from the Freedom Patriots. With more, let's go to Cassie Schmidt. The Freedom Patriots would make a statement last night and they do it on their rivals own senior night. While it was the Hurricanes taking control early in set one, breaking out to the five to nothing lead and even being up by as much as eight, things would start to take a turn. A 13 to five run by the Patriots that finishes in back to back aces from the sophomore Elena Roman will put Freedom ahead 19 to 18. Just one earned point from Liberty the rest of the way, and Freedom storms back to take set one 25 to 21. Momentum on the Pate side in set two after they'd be the ones with the 5 to 0 lead. They'd maintain control until Liberty ties it up four different times. They'd even take the 21 to 18 lead off the Elizabeth Flynn kill, but Freedom the ones to close it out strong on a 7 0 run with three points from Grace Grandinetti. Good enough to now go up two sets to none, 25-21 that final. Set three, the closest one yet, Kane's up five to four, but Freedom answers with six straight points to take the 10 to five lead, the largest lead for the Pates at seven. But as you'd guess, Liberty wouldn't go down without a fight. A kill from Flynn and then the block will make this just a one point game, 24-23 Freedom, but the Patriots still with the last word. Brenna Ortwine with the game winner, 25-23 Freedom, handing the Canes their first loss on the year with a sweep. It's insane. Like every time we come here, it's just like a whole different mentality. It's doing it for more than just us. It's doing it for the school because of the bell and everything. And there's nothing better than this feeling. Without a doubt, a huge win for the Patriots, handing their rival their first loss on the year and in a sweep, no less. And now moving into the back half of this regular season, the confidence is pretty high for the Pates. It kind of shows us that if we can take it from Liberty, we can really take it from anyone. Um, the conference is really up for grabs this year, and we, we won it all. This gives us the confidence that we can beat anybody. This gives us the confidence that we are a contender. We've known it, but it gives us the validation that we can fight with anybody if we, if we let ourselves play. This definitely propels us moving forward. We have a bunch of tough games still left in the season, but knowing that we can beat any team is what we needed. On the scene at Liberty, I'm Cassie Schmidt for Two Sports. So clearly Freedom has improved greatly this season compared to last. They're 8-2 and two now. Their only losses have been against Bethlehem Catholic and Emmaus. The Pates have Pleasant Valley up next. And as Cassie mentioned, Liberty, that marks their first loss of the season. They have Stroudsburg next. And so I have no idea who the team to beat <laughs> is this year. Usually, you know, it's usually yep. Parkland or Emmaus or Central. This year, it's kind of uh, open waters, and I, I absolutely love it. It shows that this sport has really grown in the Lehigh Valley. Parity is a beautiful mm -hmm. thing, and that's certainly on display in the EPC Steel Division. Two of the teams we just saw, Liberty and Freedom, along with Becca, now in a three-way tie atop that Steel Division. The Hurricanes and Patriots will meet in the regular season finale coming up on Thursday, October the 10th. When we come back from this